In the first quarter of 2021, the U.S. increased its solar use by 46% over the same period the previous year. By the end of 2020, the country took third place in the world in terms of the total capacity of solar panels, bypassing Japan but yielding to China and the European Union. How is the United States able to improve this figure by 56% using thousands of kilometers of motorways? We will tell you in today's video. Not a single country in the world has managed to produce as much solar electricity as China does. In the Celestial Empire, various, sometimes really ambitious solar energy projects are being implemented. This is understandable as the Chinese government is doing its best to reduce pollution in cities. One of the most unusual projects in this regard was the construction of a road covered with solar panels that can withstand the load of up to 45,000 cars per day. If China succeeded, then why has something like this not yet appeared in the United States? The U.S. interstate highway system is nearly 78,000 kilometers or 48,400 miles and theoretically could be deployed at full capacity. In theory, it is that way but not in practice. The fact is that most American highways are covered with asphalt, which tends to shrink under the weight of vehicles. Such a load could be detrimental to the plastic panels laid on top of the asphalt. In China itself, this problem did not arise since most of the highways in the country have a solid concrete base. The Solar Highway Project did not find development in the United States, but the idea of using highways to generate electricity received a different embodiment. Experts from the Ray Innovation Group and the University of Texas Energy Institute have proposed placing solar panels in roadside areas at interstate intersections. For this, according to researchers in most states, there are more than 320 kilometers, more than 200 miles of suitable plots, with an area of 51.5 thousand hectares, about 127.5 thousand acres. Roadside strips within the boundaries of large interchanges came to the attention of the research group for a reason. Experts rightly noted that such sites have enough free, unused space where solar panels could be installed while observing the existing safety rules and operating regulations. It would be impossible to implement this idea on narrow roadside highways, since it would have to go beyond the boundaries of the road allotment zones and buy land from private owners. The prospect of the idea proposed by the research group is that the roadside lanes in road junctions are actually idle, not bringing a cent of profit, and often also require maintenance. At the same time, the owners of these unused land are the transport departments of the states. According to experts, the construction of solar panels on the sides of road junctions would increase the production of solar energy in the country by 56.5%. Additionally, it would help to significantly replenish the budgets of regional transport departments due to the profit from the sale of clean electricity. The authors of the study calculated that this method of obtaining solar energy could produce from 127 to 1,814 gigawatt hours per year, depending on the state. At the same time, Texas, Illinois, California, and Florida could become leaders with a potential of more than 1,500 gigawatt hours per year, which is very significant on the scale of each state. At the same time, one should not forget about other positive effects that this project could bring to each state and the country as a whole. Sunny California, which has the third largest roadside area at highway intersections in the United States, would benefit the most from this. With the highest electricity prices in the country, the Golden State could be the most lucrative destination for roadside solar power, with potential annual revenues of up to $350 million. Second place could be taken by New York with a potential profit of $200 million. It would be followed by Illinois, Michigan, and Texas, each of which could earn more than $150 million a year. At the same time, profit could be obtained through land lease transactions, electricity purchase and sale agreements, the sale of certificates for renewable energy sources, or the direct sale of energy to power companies. Moreover, new revenue streams would eliminate tolls on toll highways that are more than 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles in the United States. The roadside solar panel project at the intersection of major motorways is well positioned to succeed. But what is needed is political will, public comment, and interest at the state government level.
and they have it. As more states are promoting the idea of using renewable energy sources, it becomes more difficult to find land for such projects. This is why the use of unexploited roadside land can be of great benefit to the country. This idea has already been developed in four states, which have built up solar panels on the shoulders of major road junctions. For instance, the first test site was the section of Interstate 85 in Georgia, where a 1 megawatt unit was built. Two more 1.9 megawatt solar power plants have been launched in Oregon. Eight 4.3 megawatt plants are already generating power in Massachusetts. And five 1.8 megawatt plants are operating in Maryland. The project is gaining momentum. Given the speed at which innovation is emerging in the auto industry, highways in the US must also follow advances in electrification and smart technology. It is clear that for this, it is necessary to develop local production of electricity. In this sense, the construction of roadside solar panels appears to be a promising and ambitious project that will help the United States to become the first in the world in terms of solar energy use, bypassing both China and the European Union. Will this happen in the near future? Will the project find development at the national level? Please share your opinion in the comments. Take care.